financial problems, elder law, criminal law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now, here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Today's topic is, which is better to eliminate credit card debt? Chapter 13 or debt resolution? Which do you say is better? Oh my God, you're pointing your finger at me. I am the I, only one who's allowed. I will allowed. tell you when we get to the meat of the show. Until then, I'm just going to say good morning and thanks for having us. Oh, I us forgot. Today. Did I even mention your name? Brian Small. Nice That's to right. see you. Jeffrey Winning, good morning. Good morning, Ken. Kelsey Samasco, welcome back. We haven't seen you in a while. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. It is great All to right. see you. All right. So, Do you ever get a feeling of deja vu when you're doing this show? Every great once in a I while. I know. It's crazy. So, I want to talk about credit card debt, but let's talk about, we've mentioned it on the show, it's a recurring thing right now. What is growing faster than anything else in the world? Credit card debt. We reached and surpassed a trillion dollars, and it keeps on going. Actually, I think it's a national deficit, but after that, it's credit card debt. I'm talking about the rate of the increase. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, what, I, that's your homework assignment for the next show. <laughs> I, I want you to research and tell me which is growing at a faster percentage rate. Unfortunately, I have a feeling it's probably the national debt. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why you say that necessarily. The <laughs> national debt is growing at a steady rate or whatever it is. The credit card rate is, is growing at an accelerated rate because people are spending more and they're not paying down on the credit cards and they're well, experiencing 40, 40, 25% interest, which means the rate is going, the debt is increasing quicker than it was before. $47 billion dollar increase last quarter. Yeah, but that's but the question is as a percentage of what was owed before. I don't I think, know. I I'm don't betting do math. Kind of, it's too late. I don't need to, to do math. Do you remember the Goodrich Tire thing on the lodge when you drive downtown and every time a car would Wasn't it pass I off the production line, it would ratchet up one item. I don't know if one the item. I-94 was the, tire, the tires on I-94. But right. I don't know if Do you remember it or not? We do. Yes. We do. Okay. I think we need the same thing for credit card debt. Every time credit card debt goes up 100 bucks, we have a little sign that goes but up. But do you really think people, individuals, want to be reminded on a minute-by-minute minute basis of just how bad credit card debt is getting? Because like the when reality they're driving, is... When they're dri driving a downtown piece of, to a Tiger game? Yeah, it's a piece Probably of plastic, not. right? And we don't consider it as anything... It's like chips at a casino. when it's, it's not real money when it's a piece of plastic. Right. And that's the way people treat it. And that's why it's a tr over a trillion dollars. So for right those now. of you that are watching the show and have been watching the show, then I guess we owe you an apology because we constantly are harping on the fact that credit card debt is financial cancer. And by having and carrying too much credit card debt and doing that for, say, 50, for 20 years, you're basically throwing away your retirement so that when you get to the age of 65 or 70, you have a mortgage that you're still paying on. You have two car, two car payments that you're making, and you have uh, a four to five hundred dollar credit card bill every month for the past debt that you've incurred. And you've got about twelve thousand dollars in the bank, and you think you're going to be able to live on seventeen hundred dollars a month in Social Security. Then it just so I apologize for the times that we've spent saying you need to wake up and deal with reality and get rid of the credit card debt, so that when you get to sixty five, your house is paid for. You've got money in the bank, your cars are owned free and clear, and you owe nobody a dime. Oh, that's, then, that's that three-point retirement plan, isn't Yes. It? Then if you've got $4,000 a month coming in between Social Security and the earnings and some of the money you've stashed away, you can live without borrowing from your children. Now, if I sound like I'm giving you a lecture, I don't mean to, but there are too many yes, people. Yes, he does. He there does are, mean to lecture. You yes. need to get the message because if you can get to the age of retirement and you have no debt and you own your house free and clear and you've got some money in savings, 
for the first time after working your entire life, putting your kids through college, paying for dance lessons, paying for golf lessons, and doing all the things we do for our children, you can finally, at the age of 65 or 70, enjoy your life. But you won't if you're stuck with debt. No. But in the meantime, back, until back, you're 70, back to the show. you're not allowed to enjoy yourself at all, no matter what. You can't have fun no, because that's it's correct. just not allowed. You that's have to work and slave every away sing, every, sing, every single day. All right, so how do we go about getting rid of this credit card debt? What are our options? All right. Uh, just let, let's, I, I'm going to be the client today. I got $80,000 of credit card debt. I make... A hundred thousand dollars a year. I have a wife and two children, and put some like clouds in the air. I'm only 52 years old. Well, that was some serious magic if you're only 52. Right. But what do so you do? So I've got overhead and I've got expenses. So, I've got my kids sure. just living with me at home, and I've got expenses. So I'm, you know, a hundred thousand dollars is nothing nowadays. You, you've got a good point. The the fact is is that. With $80,000 for the credit card debt, you're paying a whole lot of juice every month just to keep those the, the minimum monthly payments going. I'm paying $2,500 two, $2, a month. Okay, so... And every month the credit card bills go up. They do, because you're in the credit card And job. they can go up another $15,000, because I'll say I'm very proud of the fact that I have $95,000 of credit available, which leaves me 15 still available, and my credit score happens to be 702. Okay. I don't care what your credit score is. What we have to do is get rid of the Well, debt. do you care about my credit score? No, so, I care about my credit score. If I was 30 <laughs> and single, and you were, I don't have to believe you're single, would you care about my credit score if I wanted to ask you out on a date? Absolutely. Okay. That's the first thing See? I ask. See? Okay. People care. Kelsey cares about my credit score. All right. Well, I don't. Wait. Because I want to get do this again. Debt. I'm not 55. I'm 28. Yeah, okay. We got to get rid of the debt because no matter every day that the debt... I, I want to know how. We're going to look at Chapter 7, Chapter 13, and Debt Resolution. Two types of bankruptcy and one non-bankruptcy solution to help you find a way to end the debt and... Well, which is the better of the three? It depends on your individual situation. Well, what's the general rule? Get rid of the debt the quickest, least costly method you can, period. With that, we'll take a break. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Favgro specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Favgro. Our firm will solve your problem. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Fav Gross. You don't need to be broke, and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. Pat was recommended by a friend who insisted that we really needed a trust. And he said, 
I know somebody who will do a good job for you. At Samasco Law, we deal with estate planning and trusts every day. We had excellent service from Samasco Law. Any questions we had were addressed. Our estate is in order and it had been set up so well that nothing needed to be done. I would just highly recommend Samasco Law. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. All right, so we're back. So, Brian, my question is, which of the alternatives is best? You got chapter seven, chapter 13, and chapter, and, and no chapter, and you have debt resolution. Right. Take my facts. I'm making $100,000 a year. I'm going to give you one more fact. I've got 100000 of equity in my house. Perfect. Okay. So a chapter seven isn't going to be an available option. It, it may be, but it would cause the, you to lose your house, which I is don't not want to the lose goal. My house. Right. Because you can only protect a certain amount of equity in your home. Right, so if I didn't have a house, then Chapter 7 would be part of the analysis. Yes. Okay. But in this for, case, for today, we're going to look at Chapter 13 or debt resolution. Right, what are the elements of a 13? So Chapter 13 is structure reorganization over time, where you repay some or all of the debt you owe over a period of three to five years. Right. What does 4 have to do with 13? What does 4 have to do with 13? Any one of you. I'll bite. What does four have to do with thirteen? You're pretty intuitive. Do you have a do you have a uh, candor there? Well, the way I play golf, it's usually what I yell before I get to the fifteenth <laughs> hole. Okay, Kelsey. I don't even. know. I was just looking at the outline and I noticed a one and a three equals four. Okay, getting back to chapter thirteen and what it does for you. The, the, the fact is, is that what we have here is a situation you where... You like that, obviously. Now, Go on. The guy, <laughs> Jeffrey. Your, your fictional uh, client that has $80,000 for credit card debt. Me, me. Okay, you, as the fictional client, with $80,000 for the credit card debt, we're going to do an analysis. Which gets you out of debt paying the least amount of money right, so back? so do the analysis. So... In this situation, with $100,000 worth of equity in the home, let's assume the house is worth $400,000. My payment is $1,900 a month, including taxes and insurance. Okay. So we take your I net... I can barely make it. We take your net income, we subtract off your regular household expenses. The mortgage payment, the electric bill, the gas bill. What does it cost you to buy groceries? And, and after we get through the, the cost of living in your house, your car payments, your insurances, everything. What's left at the bottom? Your income minus your expenses. And in this case, let's just say you've got $1,500 a month, but your credit card payments are currently $2,500, right? So you really don't have $2,500 no, a month. No, all I have is 15. So, and you've been borrowing on the credit cards to, to make those payments. So. What we do is we say, in a Chapter 13, you've got $1,500 available to clear your debt. For over how many months? Over 60 months. Because so that's $75,000. Yeah. Well, and that's, that's a good, solid number to repay. But I only have $80,000 in credit card. I understand. It doesn't sound like a good deal to me. It, it, first of all, it's at 0% interest. Oh, so I don't have to pay the 26%. That's so you're, good. So you're going you're gonna to save at least $80,000 in interest. Right, but if I understand correctly, you're saying if I got 1500 bucks available, if I end up in the Chapter 13, that 1500 is going to go to the unsecured debt. So credit cards, medical bills. Yeah, it's going to clear loans. the debt. It will go towards student loans too. Right, but I don't get to discharge the student loans. So again, as we've discussed in previous uh, shows, there is a possibility of discharging your student loans these days if you probably have to be below what we call the median income uh, for a Chapter 13 candidate or a Chapter 7 candidate, it's still relatively new. It's still playing itself out. All right, I don't but want to get hung on student loans. Student can loans. So, so, have so, this so, promise. So that goes towards that fifteen hundred bucks a month. Sure does. All right, but if I say to you, I have no student loan debt, I just have the credit card debt. 
is there a way of getting out of the credit card debt if it's eighty thousand dollars for less? Like I, I work debt resolution. So can I just get out of the credit card debt for you know five thousand bucks and be done? Can I just no, say, to the, listen, I got five thousand bucks. That's it. I'll give it to you tomorrow if you will take it. If not, forget it. You get nothing. Okay, then I guess I get nothing because debt resolution. No, debt resolution is going to require you to settle your debts, quote unquote, for pennies on the dollar. But the average settlement is between thirty-five and forty-five cents on the dollar which is still a considerable savings. All right, so if I owe $10,000, you're saying I could settle with... For, for 4000 Visa for 4000 Yeah. Okay, so how, does, so how does that work? So remember that minimum monthly payment that you've been paying? So isn't that better than Chapter 13? In this case, it is. But wouldn't it always be? No. Well, what if, what if, what if your, your settlement is what if, 40 cents on the dollar? What if the pot that I have available instead of $1,500 is only $100? Okay, so now you call assuming we can make chapter 13 work with all the other structure, the answer is yeah, then you pay $100 a month for 60 months, which is only $6,000. $6, so yeah, so some so 13 if I get it works if the amount I have to pay the unsecured creditors is low enough. It's the analysis which makes more sense for you because the problem is wait for it everybody, no. individual to the individual and the solution is individual to the individual. He did, had to do did, it again. I did. Did you, I get, did. did you get that off the internet? I made it up. He's also got a tattooed across his shoulder blades, if yep. you want to see. Yep. Are you old enough He's for a tattoo? Enough. Are you young enough for a tattoo? <laughs> um, no, I am not. No. I just I saw uh, one of the talk shows or something. It said 57% of people under the age of 40 have a tattoo. Something like that. That's a big number. Yeah, it was a very big number. Wow. So anyway, I had a one. I had one that said Grand Slam that I got at my grandson's birthday party, but it but wore it washed off. off. Yeah. It, it lasted for two weeks. It was oh, kind of people on. kept saying, "Did you get a tattoo?" I the, said, "I the, can't get it to wash off." The the key here before we go to the break is to understand that we're going to look at Chapter Thirteen and we're going to look at debt resolution, and whichever one works best for you, whether it's Paying out. Yeah, don't give me the summary because time. you haven't told me enough about how debt resolution works. What you told me is I, I, I can't do it with five thousand. So how long does the program take? How much? You know, what does it cost? What's the system? Why does it work? How do you do it? Is that the same as debt settlement that I hear on TV? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you after the break. You got four seconds. Now time's up. We'll take a break. We'll be back after the break. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Thav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. I was married for 57 years before my husband died. Samasco Law had established a trust for them before this happened. There's so much to do in the beginning, but after about a month, you're kind of alone. We deal with estate planning and trusts every day. If you continue to have good support and know that your finances and your estate is in order, that's one thing that's so comforting. I would just highly recommend Samasco Law. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. 
Time for announcements. Oh, when I announced we've opened, Thav Gross has opened a new office downriver in the Horizon Building on Eureka Road. So now we're in Flint, downriver, and also our home office in Bingham Farms. We have an estate planning seminar coming up Wednesday, November 8th, 6 to 7.30 p.m. at our main office in Bingham Farms. The title of the seminar is Why Today's World Makes It an Absolute Essential for Everyone to Have an Estate Plan. We're going to talk about the elements of estate plan, why it is so essential, so essential, what happens when a loved one dies, how you go through the process, what do you need to do. Attendees will receive a gold certificate worth $300 off of any estate plan service from Thav Gross. You register online at thavgross.com, that's thavgross.com, or call 888-235-HELP, 888-235-HELP. Remember, you can always come in for a free consultation. You can do it by Zoom conference, in the office, any way that works best for you. Just call 888-235-HELP or go to the website, thavgross.com, to sign up. Debt issues, tax issues, estate planning issues, business law issues, elder law issues with Pat or Kelsey, disability issues with Jeff Kirshner. Again, sign up at lawandreality.com or thavgross.com or just call 888-235-HELP. Also, if you go to the website, you'll see there's free, report, free reports. Resolving Tax Problems, The Real Solutions by Jeff Linden and myself. Bankruptcy, Is It Right for Me by Brian Small. How to Save Your Home from Foreclosure. Business Formations, Loans and Grants for Small Businesses in Detroit and Michigan. And The Retiree's Guide to Social Security by uh, Pat Samasco. I want to thank our sponsors, Thav Gross, Samasco Law, Kirshner Law. Now back to the show. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Thav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke, and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Thav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. So Mr. Small, I'm very thankful that I could be here for this free appointment where you're explaining this to me. How does debt resolution work? I want to know, I'm trying to figure out, are you saying I should do Chapter 13 or should I do debt resolution? And if I'm going to do debt resolution, what's the process? So in, in this situation, because we, based on the facts, we know we're going to pay back about $75,000 in, in a Chapter 13. And we can pay back less in a in debt resolution so what we do is simply we're going to stop paying the credit cards completely stop and instead of paying the credit cards we're going to save the money so i save 1500 bucks a month yep and what we're going to do with that 1500 dollars is really simple we're going to put it away and we're going to start negotiating with visa mastercard american express whoever it is we're going to do that i have to do that i'm going to do that okay so we're is you yes the, i'm the client right. i just get to trust you right and we're we as your representative are going to negotiate and keep pushing the credit card companies till we get a reasonable settlement offer and meanwhile your only responsibility in all of this is to keep us informed of the, the communications you get from the credit card companies. Uh, what if they're, they're going to call me? They, they call. I'm going to send them a letter. Tell them what's the letter going to say? So, and so if they call me and I pick up the phone, do I not answer the phone or do I answer the phone? I prefer that you don't answer the phone. You ignore the call and they'll get a letter from me. But if I talk me. to them, what should I say? Be nice. Always be nice. And you say, Do have you ever seen the movie Roadhouse? I have. Be nice until what it's time you? not to be nice. Roadhouse? No. no. 
Roadhouse. Great movie. Patrick Swayze. All right. Oh. All right. Be nice. Be nice because everything you You've say. You've never seen Roadhouse. We're going to run out of time, and I'm not going to give you your answers. Go on. <laughs> everything you say, they're going to keep track of. So you don't communicate with them. You don't tell them anything. I I'm send your it to advocate. You. Okay. So how long does this take? So debt resolution will take somewhere between 12 and 24 months to, to accomplish. Okay. Versus a chapter 13 can cost, take up to what's five What's it going to cost me? 10%. How do I pay that? Do I pay it over time? Over or time. To, so I don't have to pay you that right off the bat? No. I structure, I figure out what you need to make the problem go away, and then we'll set you up on a payment agreement right. on so, top of so it. So here, here's the point. I'm switching out of being the client and back to being Ken for a second. If you're in this situation you the where you've got the credit card debt and you're making that minimum monthly payment of, let's say, it's 1500 bucks a month, that's what you can afford. If you don't do debt resolution, you go 18 months, you make your minimum monthly payment of $1,500 a month, and you still owe the same $80,000, $50,000, $100,000 of credit card 100% debt. 100% true. And it's going to be that way for the rest of your life unless you do something to get rid of the debt. When you do debt resolution, what's nice about it is, yeah, for the... 12 months to 24 months that it takes us to get the debt settled and get out of the way, you're still paying that $1,500 a month. But once it's done, you owe them nothing. And then once you owe them nothing, the $1,500 goes into the bank and goes into money funds and goes into securities and starts growing between Heck, you could five, even put it into your 401k five and ten percent a year tax-free so that when you get to be 70 <clears throat> you have retirement money anyone who has the ability to make the minimum monthly payment and is doing so in carrying that debt and paying that interest trust me you're throwing away your retirement if you get rid of that debt and you just take that money and you put it in your 401k or you invest it in a Roth IRA or you just invest it in securities and so forth, you'll have a retirement. The financial industry loves you if you pay them 25% interest. I would love you if you wanted to pay me 25% interest. Everybody wants to get 25% interest your job is not to be one of the suckers that pays it. Listen. Not just, it's not your job. Our job. Me, the same as me. I made those mistakes and got rid of the credit card debt. Brian is one of the few people in the world that grew up with something in his head that said, I'm never going to pay interest. This is true. The rest of us <laughs> fell into the credit card trap at one time or another. The key is getting out of the trap. Five seconds. Last no word. matter what your situation is, you want to make sure that you get the analysis done. Whether it's Chapter 13 or Debt Resolution or Chapter 7, you need to know what your options are and what your opportunities are. Have a great week. We'll be back next week with Water Reality.